Hey guys, Creator Mom. Happy Sunday again. So I wanted to give a quick movie review while it was on my mind. Last night I watched a movie called Mr. Crockett. And uh, it was a it's a horror movie. And uh, so it's about this horror figure that is, um, you know, he's like in a VHS tape. But he's also like, I guess you could say like he's just this... Uh, kind of like demonic figure well he seems good at first because what he does is he feeds off the pain of children so I guess spiritually he can detect wherever children are experiencing lots of pain and maybe like abuse by parents or neglect and so I think that you I think he has to be brought into the house first like through this VHS tape and then the kids get really like hypnotized by his um <clears throat> by watching his it's kind of like it's kind of like Barney like the songs and the show that's on the VHS tape VHS tape but it's not Barney it's kind of like that though or like Sesame Street but the kids get really like hypnotized by it and they start like singing the songs and he kind of gets like in their head but, um, like, the songs are not bad. They're kind of, like, sharing is caring, blah, blah, like, stuff like that. But then, anyways, so these kids, when, when they start experiencing, like, a lot of pain, he shows up in form, like, in their home, like, through the TV set. And, like, in one scene, it was with the stepfather. He, basically, this Mr. Crockett guy kills the stepfather. And then he he abducts the children, right? To, to quote unquote bring them to a better place where they never have to experience pain by adults anymore, right? But this guy himself, this Mr. Crockett himself, is a character. He was a, he actually was a real guy. So I guess it wasn't like a demon or whatever, but he was a real guy, not real in real life, but real in the movie. Like he had died in the seventies. I think he was murdered or something. But I think that. He also grew up in a very painful, abusive situation. So anyways, it was maybe like his spirit or his afterlife self getting vengeance, right? Um, and anyways, he would abduct the kids. But he wasn't alleviating their pain, right? He wasn't making it better um, because he was abducting the kids and then showing them more pain by, you know, killing their abusive or neglectful parent in front of them right so in a way it seems good because if you because he's like killing the bad person right but then he's abducting them and he's really not a good person or a loving person on the inside he's really just a person who's acting out of pain out of vengeance out of anger out of rage right and it just I was thinking about it and I was thinking about what meaning I would draw from this horror movie and I was like yeah, like that's it. Just that when we act out of, when we try to save other people or act out of vengeance and anger and unhealedness, I think, then we only induce more pain. Something like that. So yeah, pain begets pain. Um, You know, yeah, he was acting out of like, more hatred, more pain, more abuse, more evil, you know, murder. So, um, and calling that, like, protecting the kids, but he was also causing to, it, it was a vengeful, vengeful spirit, if you will. And it really, if you think about it, actually doesn't care about the kids, in a sense, because it's just bringing more pain Anyways, I feel like that was being redundant. But yeah, um, I wouldn't really recommend the movie because it was not, it's probably not even highly rated. But um, it was interesting. Um, it was interesting, nonetheless. I don't think I've seen a horror movie with that specific concept. Um, yeah. All right, that's all I wanted to share.